Hello YouTube, this is uh, Apple iOS Genius and we're going to go through a tutorial process in figuring out how to install a mobile config file that was created by your IT administrator for your school or your educational uh, school system, institution, or even your enterprise corporation company. Uh, even though you can actually create these mobile config files for even a household user uh, at home. So instead of you retyping the password or so forth, uh, for someone's uh, iPad or mobile device or even a tablet, Android, uh, this mobile config will not work on Android, but there's actually another process which can work for, uh, which is basically a QR code scanner. Uh, as long as you download a QR code reader on your tablet or Android device, you can actually scan the code. And once you scan the code, it actually configure the encrypted password onto your mobile device. Uh, on the Android and uh, it will work. Uh, I will create another video in regards of showing how that would work. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and show the process of using a mobile config file and uh, feel free to view one of my other videos and how to create a mobile config file on your Apple device and your Apple computer so that you can deploy it out to uh, or manually install it, not deploy it out because if you do deploy it out to other people's uh, computers or so forth, they can actually pass it on to other individuals that do not require that access or need that access and cause more network issue or bandwidth. So basically to get f going forward, we're going to go ahead and open Google Chrome. In case uh, you came around my video on a Google search, go over to youtube.com, uh, scroll up to Apple, iOS Genius, and then once you do that, select on Buy iOS Genius here. Uh, once you've gone ahead and select that, this will actually pop up, which is basically my recent uploads as well as any videos that I've created in the past. Uh, so this is related to anything for uh, education as well as enterprise or as household use or uh, anyone that actually needs any help with it. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my iPad. Uh, I've already gone ahead and uploaded these files. Uh, and there's actually a file in here that I uploaded as well. This is for the Android devices. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and through the mobile config uh, for the Apple devices. And this is for anything uh, with a Apple device. This even can go back to an iPod if you wanted to, an iPod Touch. As long as it connects to Wi-Fi and it has iOS 6 or newer, iOS 7 is definitely recommended. Uh, you can also do this on iPad uh, two, three, four, and as well as iPad mini uh, one and iPad mini two um, devices, uh, or even your iPhone, it could be an iPhone four or iPhone five. I have not tested this on an iPhone three, but as, as long as it has an iOS six or newer, it should be fine for your Mac computers, uh, either Apple Mac mini or MacBook Pro or MacBook or an iMac. Uh, the operating system is recommended as anything from 10.7 and newer. If you have something older than 10.7, which is 10.6.8, or even um, 10.5, uh, then this process will not work. Uh, so then what we're going to do is, and going forward here, is we're going to go ahead and open my reflector here down here in the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my iPad. And you're going to see my iPad in a moment. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this from my iPhone and then I'll, I can do this for my iPad. So what we're going to do is go ahead, let me close all these other apps that I have running on my iPhone. So we have insurability that is going to work here. Please bear with me since I have like 20, 30 apps running here anyways. Okay, so that's already been closed. So now on my iPhone, we're going to go ahead and open up the, uh, the status screen on the very bottom. We're going to go ahead and open to my AirPlay. We're going to select my computer. And then I'm going to enter my computer password. And you'll see just a moment, my iPhone will appear on my MacBook on this screen here, as you can see I'm moving the mouse. So I hit OK. I give it a second. Three, two, one. And boom. There you go. There's my iPhone. It's actually a, I have a white iPhone. Yeah, look, Chuckles from Four Screen is actually uh, sending out. So you can actually change the skin here on my device to iPhone 5 black to a white or so forth And we're just going to do white as there you go. So we're going to go ahead done and uh, This is my screen. This is my iPhone Okay, there's my kid on the bottom there as well as myself 
So what we're going to do here is that we're going to go and install this profile. So I'm going to go to my settings. From my settings, you want to go down to general. And from general, you want to go to the very bottom if you have. Right here, you have iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. You have VPN. And you have Reset. Uh, technically, right down here in this bottom, possibly underneath VPN, you should have a button or a link that will say uh, Profiles. So which I do not have any profiles on my iPhone. This is an iPhone 5 uh, white edition. So uh, to get that profile installed, I would just go ahead and go back to the home page. Uh, now again, this is a secure site that I have uploaded these files to. So no one's going to be able to see them. Uh, so see there's a password as well. So we're going to go back to... Do, 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 do. We're going to hit downloads. Hmm. Let's see. Bear with me. What we need to do. Okay. Let me stop this for a quick moment. Test. One, two, seven, twenty-nine. So now what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and open my uh, I, iPhone and I'm going to actually connect it to my Mac right here in just a brief moment. So what I'm going to do is as long as I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So here we go. Three, two, one. We're going to turn this on and there you go. There's my iPhone. This is my iPhone 5 here. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to screen this down. So as you can see, these are all my icons here applications that I use running and so forth. Uh, what you kind of want to do is you want to go to your settings and I'm going to show you once you're in settings oops, down here under general you will have a listing that will say profile. As you can see my iPhone does not have a profile feature which normally is above the reset and below the VPN. So to put the profile that I have that's basically on my desktop here which is Civitas Wi-Fi Mobile, so I can connect to the Wi-Fi at my school institution uh, or my work and job place. Uh, these are my Wi-Fi, and these are my Wi-Fi in my home. So Chopwood Ghost is my home Wi-Fi. So basically, the best way to do this, since I've already uploaded these three files here over to a to our internal school site, uh, as well, it can be accessed externally as well, but you'll need to have your IT administrator access the site and do this process for you. There is a scanner QR code reader in this window here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. Uh, let's see, go through my windows and make sure I have, oh, I got a lot of pages and so forth going on there. So we're gonna, just going to hit this. So what we're going to do is go to the website that I have uploaded the files to just to make it easier ability so our IT administrators can go ahead and uh, get to this. Uh, I am a system administrator for one of the schools. Uh, I've gone ahead and created this process so it can be easier on a bunch of us. So it is actually the site's name with downloads. We're going to go ahead and hit go. It's going to be prompted with this message. Uh, it's going to be admin. Password is, oh sorry I can't really tell you what the password is, but I you can you know see it little by little there you know so I'm going to go ahead and, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my AirPlay and turn this off so you don't get to see <laughs> my intriguing password. And uh, once I've done that, I will get back to you on the screen. Oops, if I can type here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log into the site and I will bring you back in just a moment. So here's my iPhone again. We're going to hit done and I'm going to swing this, double click on the home button. There's a site. So it logs me into the site. And again, this site is a protected site, so you will not know what the password is. Only your IT administrator or your uh, IT director will know this password. So right here, I've gone ahead and created this where it is here. Let's see if I can zoom it up a little here. There you go. 
So I created a IT downloads, which is the download Wi-Fi connection for Apple computers only Im with image below. So if someone touches this image right here, this Mac image uh, right here that I have highlighted, uh, if someone touches this, this will actually install into someone's Mac computer. Uh, and it's actually a restricted file to not to be downloaded uh, under a PHP code. So this is very helpful. But what's also best helpful out of this process is that here I have uh, an Android logo icon. If this icon is selected, it actually appears a QR code, which I have no problem. I can go ahead and select it and show everyone uh, what this QR code is. But if I do, uh, anyone can pretty much view it and then they can be able to have our password which we don't want to do that so uh the next thing is this little rocket ship down here as soon as i'm trying to select it this is the mobile device that we use for our apple ios devices so this is anything as i stated earlier an iphone 4 5 5s or 4s or uh anything with ios 6 or newer as well as an it could be an ipod touch as long as it has an ios 6 or newer about in it uh, and of course, it's approved by the uh, the director of the school as well as the associate director, and uh, as well as uh, any iPad devices or iPad mini devices. Um, so what we're going to do, since this is an iPhone 5 that I'm running here, we're just going to go ahead and select this little rocket ship, and you're going to see how what appears. So once you hit it, it's going to kick you out of that page. And it's going to ask you, hey, look, you want to install this profile? Okay, great. You know what? You can't technically save it because there's no feature to save it to your phone in case you wanted to forward it on to someone else. So it is created this way so that uh, we have, uh, so there's limited individuals installing this to wh whoever or sending it to whoever they want. So once you're at this page, the Civitize Wi-Fi Mobile is basically this file here that I have on my desktop. And this is what I created and I have uploaded to the site. And then what we're gonna need to do here is this one's listed as Northtown Academy Wi-Fi, uh, which is, that is the actual site location that I'm working at. Uh, not verified is not verified. It's basically a certificate uh, approved by Apple, but it's not approved by Apple. So uh, it's just an Apple program that uh, is created from Apple's programming, but uh, I've created it on my own. So there's an install button to the right, right down below where it says the description. All my profiles have the descriptions built in that I've created, and this one is listed as this will install a profile to enable secure wireless access to the internet and network at CACS charter schools. Uh, it contains a Wi-Fi network. If there was other settings or features in this profile, it would actually say it contains Wi-Fi network, VPN, or web clips, or uh, passcode restrictions, or et cetera, et cetera. So there's actually more features. Feel free to look at my other video in how to create a mobile config file uh, from iPhone uh, configurator, and then you can actually figure out how to deploy this to either your business, your educational system, enterprise, or either for your just your home residential if you needed to, or with, with your friends or small businesses that you pass out to others. So we're gonna go ahead and select on more details uh, quite quickly. Uh, this is the Apple configurator. As you can see, it's issued has an expiration of April 8th of 2015. Uh, but this uh, can be redeployed out or even updated from the Apple Config configurator to those computers as long as they're in the device enrollment feature and this will update automatically. Uh, as down below for the Wi-Fi network is your network is Civitas Wi-Fi that is considered our SSID. Our encryption is WPA and WPA2 uh, which is not going to show WPA2 because they're either going to show one or the other. It is not going to show you the password. There's no way for you to retrieve the password. You will not find the password in your keychain access. Uh, this has been tested and been successfully done through. So we're going to go back really quick. We're going to go ahead and in do install. And then here's the consent. Consent of the removal of this profile will delete access to the internet and network at CICS Charter Schools. Uh, so this is a very valid question. If you decide to remove this or uninstall it or or restore your phone or your mobile device or your iPad device, uh, restore it from factory settings, it would actually remove this process too. And if it removes this profile, then that individual will not be connected to our network. Uh, this is also, uh, you can go ahead and select install. 
give it a, a second or a millisecond it will go ahead and install it it's done it's over so you want to hit done it's going to kick me back to the website or the website that I was downloading the file from so we're just going to go ahead and select this and then say where is it up here yep we're going to say done see you later um, these are some interesting bottles that I found on the container store so let's get out of that that's not part of the video so now what we're going to do is go to your settings and from your settings you want to go to your settings here for your profile here's profile this is a profile that I just installed let me go back for a quick moment so here is the settings of system preferences here is general and then if you scroll down as you can see profiles right there and it shows the Wi-Fi mobile that I am using so basically that's where it is and that's where it's going on so if I select that I can technically go ahead and remove this now if I remove this it will actually remove the profile with settings from your iPhone so it's going to completely remove it it's gone and now I will not be able to connect to that uh, site location uh, but right now my Wi-Fi signal bars at the very top here are connected because I'm using my home network but if I was in the office it will show only LTE and then once I get in the building and then I'll turn automatically connect to our internal wireless which is really cool so I enjoy uh, making this video uh, if you have any other questions or concerns or you wanted to figure out how you can create this mobile profile uh, for your mobile devices or your iPad and so forth uh, feel free to subscribe and as well as uh, enjoy my YouTube videos and uh, it's great to see you so thank you and have a good day